Hey everyone, good morning. It's Mark Weens with Migrationology.com in Taipei. We've got a big day ahead of us. We're heading to the metro station now and the first stop today is Taipei 101. We are at Ximen Station now. Connect at Taipei Main Station and go all the way down to Taipei 101 World Trade Center. We're just getting out of the metro and we are directly at the base of the Taipei 101. Reaching to the sky. Okay, we are taking the elevator to the fourth floor. It's 9 a.m. right now. And now to purchase our tickets. That was fast. <laughs> that took like 10 seconds. Oh, wow. That is quite a ridiculous view. Wait, we can go higher, Ayin. All right, we're gonna go to the outdoor observatory on the 91st floor. All right, now we have the outdoor view. Oh. Okay, it's not that scary though, because there's a big ledge right there. They do keep the glass very clean. I'm glad I'm not the one who has to clean the windows, uh, but this is just a stunning view. And if you look below, you can see the shadow of the Taipei 101 down below there. To get to the elevator to go down, you have to walk through the coral store. Made it back down to solid ground. It was good, it's, it's a very touristy attraction here in Taipei and many tour groups go there so it got very busy as we were leaving. Uh, but well worth it for the view, for the incredible views of the city. And the highlight for me was riding that elevator which takes you from zero all the way to the 89th floor in what seems like seemed like just a couple seconds but I guess it did take about 30 to 40 seconds. But a really fast ride and conveniently located right as you get out of the elevator from the observatory is Din Tai Fong, which is one of the most famous and iconic restaurants in Taipei, Taiwan. And it is just the logical and must do thing to do is to eat here as soon as you get down. These are just beautiful little creations. We just finished lunch at Din Tai Fong. That was an incredible lunch and I am gonna make a full video about this restaurant so I'm not gonna include it in the vlog, uh, but that was really good. I loved it. And just look at the crowd out here now in front of the restaurant. I'm glad we got here early right as they opened. We've seen the views from the observatory on the 89th floor and we just had lunch on the bottom basement floor and now we are gonna try to get some views of the Taipei 101 from far away so we can see the actual building. So we're heading to a place called Elephant Hill to do a little hike. I'm honestly not exactly sure which trail to take, so I think we're gonna take this one. The Xiang Shan Trail. I am at the base of the trail, which is a staircase heading up to Elephant Hill. Uh, I'm gonna hike up to the top and hopefully get some good views of Taipei 101 and also of the skyline of Taipei from here. It already feels really good to get a little bit of exercise after eating all those dumplings. Just took about 10 minutes and we reached what looks like the first observatory platform. Oh yeah, and that's a good view. Now up one more flight of stairs. That is the sign, I believe, for Elephant Lookout. 
or Elephant Hill Mountain. It actually turned into a pretty clear day and this is a much different perspective, of course, of the Taipei 101, which is right there, sticking out of the skyline uh, compared to being at the top. But really nice view. It's blazing hot. I am just sweating profusely right now, but it was well worth this lookout. The Taipei 101 is 508 meters high, and you can see the different levels. Uh, the different levels are supposed to represent to make it look like a piece of bamboo. And so that is the design and the inspiration of the architecture of the Taipei 101. Made it back down to the bottom. Uh, that was just a short hike, but well worth it for the views. We're heading back to the metro, and this time we are at Xiang, Xiang San Station, and we're gonna take the metro to the Taipei Zoo. We just got off the metro at Taipei Zoo Station and along the way it started raining. From here you can either go to the zoo or you can go to the Maokong Gondola which is a cable car. So we're going to try to go to the zoo first as long as it's not raining and then come back for the cable car. Welcome to Taipei Zoo. Visitors. I just got my ticket for the Taipei Zoo. It's 60 Taiwan dollars and it's sprinkling a little bit but it's sort of stopped. I hope it doesn't rain. Hello. According to what I read, the Taipei Zoo is the largest zoo in Asia and it's also supposed to be a leader in research and animal conservation. And so we are going to walk around here probably for an hour or so and see some of the main uh, animal attractions. And then after that we'll go to the Maokong Gondola. Going to go see the panda, which I guess is in this building over here. Maleo, Maleo. Oh, there it comes. Oh, there it comes. Oh, that's amazing. He's huge. This is probably one of the nicest zoos I've been to. Uh, the grounds are really nice and the animal habitats are also very nice, especially because the price is pretty low. You can come here, just walk around and enjoy the gardens and yeah, I've, I've definitely enjoyed my visit here. Uh, we saw a sign back there for a shuttle to the gondola. So rather than walk all the way back through the zoo and then uh, back to the station, to the metro station, and then on to the zoo, we're gonna try to catch that shuttle to the gondola. We just paid $5 to take the shuttle, but unfortunately they told us that the gondola is closed because of this rainy weather right now. So it's closed, I guess, for the rest of the day. So that's... That is a bummer, uh, but we're riding the shuttle back to the metro station. Even though at the zoo they told us the gondola is closed, uh, since we're right here we decided to walk over and it indeed is closed. But we decided to just kind of wait around and see if the weather would clear and it looks like the weather is slowly clearing. So people are starting to line up and I hope it will open soon so that we can uh, go on the gondola. Sorry guys. We just got an update and they said the gondola is not going to open soon because it looks like the weather is kind of stormy. That would have worked out really well, but oh well. We're going to head back to the metro station. We just got off the metro at Dongmen station on the red line and we're here to try to find some food and we're probably gonna stop at a famous place called Smoothie House uh, because Ying and her sister want to eat one of the big bowls of snow ice ice cream. There's ice below and a big dollop of ice cream on the top. There's mango, there's strawberries, there's kiwi around here and it is topped probably with some kind of condensed milk and syrup and I don't know what else. And people just are crazy for this. Mm. Okay, that is pretty good. I got a nice piece of mango that's sort of candied, um, and then that ice is very, very, very fine. And then with that, like, tart ice cream. There's a restaurant just 
down the road that I'm hoping this restaurant serves stir-fried dishes. But I can't tell exactly because it's all in Chinese, but I'm gonna check it out and find out. But the good news is there are photos. Oh, thank you. Okay, so here's my meal set. It came with rice and then a, a mixture of vegetables. I think that's a piece of tofu there. And then my main dish is, is that fried chicken? I think it's fried chicken. Oh, that's hot and fresh. Let me take the piece of chicken, break off a piece, and then... That just tastes like, kind of like home cooked food. And I just ordered this bowl of soup. I had no idea it was gonna be this big. This is a giant bowl of soup. Wow, but that looks awesome. Full of egg, and I think there are pork. I think there's pork down there as well. Okay, I'm tasting a piece of the egg. Oh, that's ridiculously hot. I had to take that out of my mouth, actually. I could just feel it burning my lips. Okay. Okay, you wanna blow on that. Mm. It's a little bit plain. I think it's gonna need a little bit of vinegar and um, chili, but yeah, but the ingredients are really good. The good news is they have chili. I'm gonna need a lot of chili. I might just kind of put a little bit here, here and there. We just finished with dinner. Dinner was pretty good. Tasted very just kind of home cook style. Uh, and now we're walking out, but it's a good thing we didn't wait for the gondola because as we were eating it downpoured and it's just now stopping. Actually, my camera's getting a little bit wet. We're gonna head back to uh, where we are staying at Chi Men Station and that's gonna be it for this day four in Taipei. So I wanna say a big thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below and I'll see you on the next video tomorrow.